And, and as we uh, look at Longview right now, we're not seeing much. Uh, we do have a few passing clouds, but we're going to see mostly cloudy skies as we move into tomorrow, and that will lead to at least a very slim chance of rain. Not a high chance. Don't cancel those plans tomorrow, but some of deep east Texas could see a few showers. We are at 70 degrees in Longview right now. As we look at your temperatures to the north, we're about at room temperature, so we're in pretty good shape for tonight. We are in the upper 60s and lower 70s. Mount Vernon, you're at 70 degrees, 70 in Emory, 72 in Mineola, 71 in Quitman. Lindale is at 71. We've got lower 70s in Southern Smith County. It's 71 in Henderson, Athens. You guys are at 70. It's 71 in Gun Barrel City. What's pretty interesting is Deep East Texas is a little cooler than what we're seeing up to the north right now. We're now in the upper 60s across Deep East Texas. Nacogdoches is at 67. It's 69 in Appleby. We're in the lower 70s right now in Deep East Texas. Now, here are the dew points. They're not all that high, but you will kind of notice them tomorrow morning for a couple of reasons. All that Pacific moisture is rolling in. Also have a little bit of Gulf moisture to couple with it. And as a result, those dew points are in the 60s. Not unbearable. That's when we get to the 70s, but definitely noticeable for us. And that will set the stage for a small chance of rain. Doesn't mean everybody's going to see it, but some of us will isolated showers possible tonight. 67 will be your low temperature. High temperatures tomorrow in the upper 70s and lower 80s. So we'll, we will actually be a touch cooler tomorrow thanks to that cloud cover and the disturbance that will be moving over central and south Texas. And this is part of the reason why we are seeing that moisture. It's a powerful hurricane. This is Hurricane Lydia that is now moving ashore, and this will track across Mexico. It's going to be too far south to really impact us in East Texas, but it will be a storyline for South Texas. Look what's happening to the south of San Antonio right now. A couple of showers and thunderstorms all moving in from South Texas along the Gulf Coast. There's a disturbance in the Gulf that's helping aid these showers, but most of that really not affecting our area. Could see some drizzle, could see a shower or two tonight in East Texas. We're mostly cloudy through tomorrow morning. The front we've been talking about over the last couple of days, that stays off to our north. So, yeah, it will feel a little humid tomorrow, probably a little higher than what we like to feel at this time of year. But, hey, it's East Texas. We're pretty close to the Gulf comparative to the rest of the country. So we'll just have to deal with that. That's 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. Maybe a light shower in deep east Texas. We see clearer skies tomorrow night, so we'll be able to shake some of those clouds out and we'll see clearer skies Thursday morning, but Thursday afternoon, plenty of sunshine and then the front arrives. This is Friday, nine o'clock front moving through the area. However, the front is going to move to the south and to the southeast, and as it does so, it will carry the cold air with it. The cold air is just going to be delayed, so I do expect on Friday our temperatures are going to be relatively warm. This is what I mean. I'll show you the seven day. We've got plenty of sunshine Thursday and Friday. Despite the front moving through Friday, we still get to 84, but we really start to notice that difference on Saturday. 71 is all we get to. And then as we move into next week, lows will be in the upper 40s and lower 50s, highs in the lower 70s. Deep East Texas, decent rain chance tomorrow. Warm Thursday and Friday, 70s the remainder of the way. For the latest weather forecast, you can head on over to fox51.com. Looking